Hey guys, here with the final race recap from the 2022 Amateur Road Race National Championships and that was the crit last night right in downtown. Pretty historic course or at least like there has been crits that have been part of like the USA Crit Series in the past. Roanoke has hosted uh, these crits as far back as Emily's dad remembers racing. So uh, yeah, it was really fun. I was stoked to see a bit more of a technical course instead of just like your standard four corner crit. So it was like technically six corners with a little chicane right after the finish. Um, and coming into it, I was really excited just because I haven't done a crit this year. And two, I just, uh, it was cool to see so many friends and uh, familiar faces around the course. So yeah, let's jump into the recap. So I rode from my house straight to downtown, it took 12 minutes, so that was pretty luxurious. But for some reason I got there and was scrambling. I had to put a number on. Thanks for letting me borrow some scissors, Kelly Benefits. It seemed like everybody else was also scrambling, rotor adjustments, tire pressure. Um, man, and then there was a awesome Roe v. Wade march right in downtown taking place right on the course. Yeah, guys! agree more with those people. I know this channel isn't really a political channel, but I am deeply disturbed by the Supreme Court ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade. It's telling that in this country, guns have more rights than women do right now. It's kind of f***ed up. So I couldn't agree more with the protesters yesterday and I was really stoked to see them out there making their voices heard. Right after that, we got to see the U23 uh, men finish and that was really sick. Liam Flanagan of Kelly Benefit Strategy, but also a LMC alumni slash student. I don't know if he still goes there or if he graduated this May, but took the U23 wins. That was really cool to see. Congrats, Liam. Then it was, then it was the elite men's turn. Talking some strategy with Coach Sherm right before the start. That was very important. Bottle hand up from Emily. And then we got going. The, uh, the beginning of this race for me was kind of a bit of a course recon. Uh, I didn't get out and preview any of the course. And so I was kind of using these first couple laps as like an ease into the effort and also uh, trying to figure out the lines. There were about 80 manhole covers in every corner, so uh, really just trying to figure out how much the bike could lean, where to set up for certain corners in certain spots. It was uh, a bit of a learning curve, but uh, after a couple laps, I kind of figured it out. And then, yeah, uh, for me, it seemed like a break was not going to go with Best Buddies and Echelon and um, Texas Roadhouse all there. There was kind of like this really increased pace. There was never really any lulls in the in the speed during the race. So it was kind of apparent that a break wasn't going to go unless it took something, unless a couple really special dudes got together. So the whole like first half of the race, I was just kind of doing my best to position myself well, stay out of trouble, stay like, you know, in the top 20, 30 dudes, and it worked out for me. I was saving some energy, and then, you know, coming into the last, the last 15, 10 minutes, and I really had to start focusing on position. So it really came down into that last six laps. Uh, we, we had no more free laps after six laps, and so that's when the pace really started picking up, and that's when I realized that I really needed to uh, get myself in good position, so Knowing that Best Buddies have been really dominant in the crit scene this year, I kind of made it a point to try to stick right around them. Uh, with Ama winning the road race on Thursday, I thought it would be a good thing to kind of put myself near him. And uh, it was working out for me for like four, three, and two to go. I had really good positioning um, and then I kind of botched it on the on the finish straight coming into one to go I lost a spot or two 
everybody was g a little gassed at this point. You could tell uh, people were pushing really hard and, and making small mistakes, me included. Uh, my fatal flaw on that last lap was losing those one or two spots off of the front kind of five or six. And on the back side of the course, there was a really tight right left, and that's where I left a little gap open up. Will was pushing super hard. Uh, man, I could. I swear his tires were skidding through some of those corners and uh, just touched my brakes a little too much when that happened. Opened up a little bit of a gap and then I had to make up for it on the back straight and that burned some matches for sure. Uh, those last two corners were pretty straightforward. You know, the speed was so high and everybody was strung out. There was no concern of anybody coming around. And then you made that final left-hander into the finish straight and it was just kind of empty the tank. I thought with it being slightly uphill I'd be okay with the compact crank but we ended up moving pretty fast at least to the point where you know I, I got on top of that gear quickly and then I just like was stagnant. I couldn't move up, I couldn't make up spots um, so I was just kind of there 200 meters to go coming off of Will's wheel and finished up in 10th yeah, it is what it is. Uh, wish I could have done a little bit more for the hometown crowd. I heard my name out there a, a lot and I was really stoked about that. Thanks for everybody that was out there cheering. The silver lining, it'll be here next year. So maybe with that said, I'll have a little bit more prep work and maybe I'll get my hands on a road bike, some proper gearing and uh, really make a go at it next year. Big thanks to the Black Bibs for throwing uh, the composite team together. That was awesome. It was really cool to represent a hometown company. Also big thanks to Visit VBR for securing the bid when um, the Florida Army base couldn't host it anymore. Visit VBR jumped in with only four months to plan for this thing. And I think with such a short amount of time, they, they nailed it and you know, hopefully work the kinks out for next year and it'll go a lot smoother, especially with, you know, a whole year to plan for it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested, I'm going to upload the last six laps just raw and you can kind of see that in race experience. You can check that out. Uh, otherwise this week I'll be rolling out the Oregon trail videos. Um, I only had two days after Oregon Trail to get here before the TT, and so there was just no time to get those videos out. So those are going to be coming this week. And then on Saturday, heading up to my alma mater, Lees McRae, for a UCI mountain bike race on the home course. Like, we have awesome XC trails on campus, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, and then finally take a little bit of a break through July into August. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching the series and uh, catch you guys in the next video.